I'm Bernardino, head coach of the men's national team of Brazil volleyball. The most important thing about motivation is that people are motivated from two main reasons. There are other but two main reasons. One is need. I need to you know, to make money, so I have to work hard and make money to, to earn a living. Secondly, besides the need, is the passion. People that have little or lower self-esteem don't need to be pushed hard or challenged every time. They need to be worked with, you know, they need to be uh, you know, supported so they can. So don't give a brand to people. People are different, so try to, to, to listen or to feel people and then find the right way to push them up. Tell me the difference inside the locker room between men and women. Emotional thing. Women as a, as a group of people, you know, they, uh, it's harder to control their emotions. Men are a little bit more... Do you have a story that uh, because the difference between men and women is harder for you yeah. to talk? I came from women, I started coaching women than men, so it was the only thing that uh, kind of was difficult for me at the beginning with men, when I came from women to men, is that uh, you know, you read signals, like you know, when someone is sad, you can see he's not well. It's harder to read those signs in a man than in a woman. A woman is easier. They sh show you how they feel. Men are kind of more controlled and you know, self-assured and everything. So sometimes I was pushing and pushing and he was suffering. And I didn't know that because it's hard, harder to, to learn and to, to see, to read their emotions. Together with motivation, we have to be prepared. I, you know, I would like to, to run a marathon in two hours, but I'm prepared to learn run a marathon in two hours, so I won't do it. So preparation, they must understand that the will to prepare, the motivation to prepare, to give you 100% of what you do during preparation. Preparation means training hard, studying, resting, fitting well, everything that prepares an athlete to, uh, to go to a high level competition. So the real to the motivation to, to to prepare has to be as big as the motivation to win. The thing is that when we go to the Olympics, now we go as a volleyball athlete. If we win, okay. If we lose, the country will not go into a crisis. It's the first time I, I've been to so many Olympic Games. When I, I was a player in, the, in 1980 in Moscow. First time I went to the opening ceremony, I was kind of, oh my God, what's this? Now I don't go to opening ceremony, I'm just working. That's work. We are there in a mission. So, uh, no, uh, you just kind of isolate yourself from any other thing that's not playing, trying to win. So, that's what we do. No, I think every crisis is an opportunity. Every crisis. Now we have, at the beginning of the World League, we were playing bad and losing and everything. We went through the crisis. That was an opportunity for us to figure out and question our way of training. Uh, you know, coaching, when you're a head coach, is kind of a, a lonely experience. You know, it's like the uh, mountain lion, and you sit on the, the mountain top of the lion and think and think and, think, and you talk with your staff and everything. But decisions, everything, the feels you have when you're alone in your, your room during you know, days and days, nights and nights, awake, thinking about things, it's just a lonely experience. At the end, you talk to yourself. You talk to yourself. You talk and talk and you question and you think and you think and you don't sleep. And the only thing you can't feel is regrets, like, you no. Know, no, I should have done, I should not. You, do, you must do whatever it takes, the, the, the most you, you can. The 
was a problem, a tough one. Sending your maybe your best, one of your best players home because of uh, difficulties of dealing with the ego, with the uh, and being with the team. It's what did you tell the, the team when you kicked him out? I tell them that he was a great player, but uh, he was not a team player anymore. At that moment, he didn't want to work hard. He wanted to be part of the team. He just want to be his own team. And players, even they're kind of a. Uh, but they not just accept it, they uh, supported it. Sometimes it's not myself, it's not I'm cutting someone. The group cuts. If that play, young player doesn't share our values, don't share our principles, they won't fit in. But when I say that, I won't say with any kind of pride. I say that with a lot of frustration. As a leader, I failed. Because maybe I didn't teach him well. I didn't you know, give him the high, right road to keep. You said you were sorry to the yeah, players. Yes. Oh, many times. You make mistakes, you're human. And they, they, they must know that you, when you make a mistake, you, you ask, you, you, you apologize. And that's very important. Tell me the situation was in front uh, of the I team. the women's team in Maracanã Zinho. And uh, we played with, with, with training with a men's team. And they were, they were very, very tired. Women, the girls. And they lost. It's a training match. It's a training match. But it's a race man. The other day, they were going to, just going to do some fitness in the morning. But they are tired. And I said, I, I wouldn't go, just a, a physical trainer would be there. And I, I got there, I took my bike and I went to the practice. And they saw me, oh my God, he's going to come, because we lost yesterday, they're going to come and again, be tough on us. And I went there just to apologize, because the, the night before, I was so tough on them during the match, because they were playing really bad. But I couldn't understand the moment that they were tied for the practice we had. We just in the process. I just wanted to win, and we lost, and I was very tough on them yelling and you know, challenging every time. And the morning after I took my bike and went there to apologize for my behavior the, the night before. <laughs> tough, tough coaches, tough teachers, tough uh, you know managers. You 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 will remember them because normally they are tough because they challenge you. You know, they make you go farther. You know, they don't accept your limits. They want you to give more. So when you think, you know, when I ask you about the teacher you had, you say, oh, that one, he was tough, but uh, he made me better. My first coach was like that, very tough one. And I remember him for always, always, always. He just, and I would cry sometimes going back, like, taking my bus, going back home. And, you know, I hated him and I loved him all the time. All right? I hated him more than I loved him at the beginning. But I respected him every time. You know, it's, that's the relations we have with coaches most of the time. With teachers, coaches, fathers sometimes, the same. But the only way is they really love us because they, they want us to be better. So I think that's the way when you like someone, you just want to help him to be better, whatever he chooses.